All right, so in this problem, we want to evaluate the expression and we have the variables x and y. Now we have the value of x and now we can find through the value of x the value of y. So let's plug in to the expression of y 3 times the value of x, which is 11, divided by 11. Now we can simplify this by multiplying 3 and 11, so we have 33 divided by 11, and that gives us 3. Another way you could have solved is by eliminating the 11s and just simplifying to get 3. Now if we have x to equal 11 and y to equal 3, let's plug that into our expression. So we have 4 times x, and instead of x I'm going to be writing 11, plus 1, divided by 4 times y, which is 3, minus 3, plus 4 times y, which is 3, minus 3, divided by 4 times x, which is 11, plus 1. Now let's start simplifying. We have, whoop, okay. We have 4 times 11, which is 44, plus 1, so that gives us 45, divided by 4 times 3, which is 12, minus 3, gives us 9. Plus, our second fraction, here we have 12 minus 3, which gives us a 9, divided by 4 times 11, which is 44, plus 1, which gives us 45. Now, if we simplify these two fractions, 45 divided by 9 simplifies to 5, plus 9 divided by 45, we can divide the top and bottom by 9, and when we simplify it, we get 1 divided by 5. So when we add these two fractions, or one whole number and a fraction, we get 5 and 1 fifth. And when we simplify this 1 fifth and turn it into a decimal, it turns into 0 0.2. So when we turn this next number into a decimal, we get 5.2, which will be our final answer, and that is answer D.